Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Poppy Britt, and welcome back to the Platicando con Poppy podcast. If it's your first time watching, then welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. Thank you so much for making space for me. I It is currently 12, 18 p.m. And I literally have to leave for work at 3.30. So I have less than an hour to get this podcast like done. I went to the gym this morning and then I came home and I, I did my makeup and stuff. That way I would be ready to go after the podcast for work so like killing two birds with one stone and like doing my makeup so that I can record a podcast and also having it ready to go for when I go to work by the time I post this I will have already been fully trained at my new job so I can announce where I'm working which is Jing it is a restaurant in DTC it is a global fusion restaurant so it's a lot of asian food sushi and it's really 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 good it's more of a fine dining which is completely different for me i've never fully worked in fine dining i am wearing a button down black shirt with black slacks black shoes hair slicked back tie everything super professional and so it's a completely different setting for me but the food is so 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 good there it's cool because you walk in and there's to the left is fine dining and it's really nice in there if it's more of a like a sit down dinner whatever but then to the right they have a lounge where they have a bar and then they have like you can do bottle service there at night they have a dj and like if you want to like celebrate a birthday or go celebrate something like you can be on that side you can still order food and stuff cap cocktails and like do bottle service the girls on that side wear cocktail lounge dresses like cocktail dresses and like knee-high black boots they look super cute so i'm really excited because i'm gonna be on both sides but i think they mentioned that they want me more on the lounge side which i'm completely fine with it's more like chill more of a fun younger crowd which i'm completely okay with but it's good to like be trained on both sides because you know asita necesita and you know no, that's that's what I did at twins I was like if I'm a bartender and a server they're bound to need me you know so but yeah so I just started that job my last day at Twin Peaks ended up actually being on the 9th that Tuesday and then I started Twin Peaks or I started at Jing on Wednesday night and I just feel like I've been on go for the last week just like finishing up my days at Twin Peaks and then I ended up like picking up more shifts because I was supposed to, oh my god, put my phone on do not disturb. I always forget to put it on do not disturb and that's when people actually decide to text me and I'm like, <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up working a double on Friday at Twin Peaks. I worked as a server in the morning and then I bartended till 1 in the morning, 1.30 in the morning um, and then I had to be back the next day because I picked up a shift Saturday morning and I was there at 9.45. Mind you, I have to drive an hour and get ready. I have to be up way earlier than that. And then it takes me 30 minutes to get home. So if I get off at 1.30, I get home by 2 by the time I shower, do my skincare, wind down. Ya son las 3, 4 de la mañana. So I just hadn't really slept. And then Saturday, like I said, I worked till 4.30. I went and got my nails done, made time to do that at least. And then I, everyone's been asking if I quit status and yes, but... I told them that if they needed me, they could call me. Personally, for me, bottle service was just not it for me, not my vibe. I wasn't really feeling it. And the girls that worked there got it, you know, like they they have the regular say they, they have it down. They did not need me, you know, so I like the bartending aspect of it just because it's you're it's more fast paced but you don't have to sit there and talk to people when you're doing bottle service you have to like entertain people and like give them your socials and like you know try to convince them to get a bottle and stuff and when it comes to the bar people already know like give me three shots you know like it's quick it's easy you don't have to sit there and talk and flirt and whatever you know so it's less like energetically draining for me and it's more guaranteed money because even if it's slow no one's buying bottles or even at twins like if it's slow on the on the floor the bar is bound to be busy regardless so that's why I prefer it but yeah so I told them that like I wanted to bartend and they basically just told me that they didn't have open positions basically I was kind of discouraged because like the manager kind of talked to me and was like hey like you need to be faster and you need to do this and you need to do that but I had to like think about it and I was like no like I need to give myself grace because it was my first time bartending at a club I've always just bartended at twins it was very unorganized he got on me about being on time but like as bottle girls they kind of 
tell you to be there at nine but no everyone just like wanders in till like 10 or even past that so he didn't really give me a set time to be there so I just kind of got there like around nine and he was like you were supposed to be here at eight and I was like well had you told me that I would have been here at eight but you didn't communicate that and so I just assumed it was the same as the girls because like I see everyone just kind of dwindle in had communication been better I feel like I would have done better mind you the first time I bartended there it was a Sunday fun day or something tenían banda or something I don't remember but I was supposed to train as a bottle girl and they ended up needing a bartender and the manager knew that I was a bartender so he kind of just threw me in like he was like can you help bartend tonight I was like yeah whatever so mind you I don't know the system I didn't even have my own code I don't know the well. I don't know where anything's at. I don't know the prices. I don't know the system. Like, I don't know anything. So, obviously, it was going to be taking me a little longer to get stuff down. Mind you, we were out of sweet and sour. We were out of so many juices. We were out of random shit. And so, I was, like, having to ask a lot of questions. So, yes, of course, I'm going to take longer, you know? So, I was like, you know what? Like, I need to give myself grace. And so, so I basically told him, like, hey, if you ever need someone, just keep me in mind. Like, I'm down to bartend. I think he was out of town or something, but he DM'd me and he was like, hey, can you work Saturday night and I was supposed to bartend at twins but I gave up my shift and I was like yeah I'll be there just so it shows that like hey I'm down if you need me I got you. I'm like serious about this you know and so I ended up bartending at status that night and I was there to like two in the morning so mind you I had already not slept the day before because I had worked a double worked in the morning worked till two at status and then I came home and then I like gave myself time to sleep in so I started my day off kind of late but then I like I've been trying to get back into the gym I went to the gym on Sunday I went grocery shopping and then I like deep cleaned my whole entire apartment and my friend Taimana was supposed to start at this new club uh, native as a bartender so I wanted to go show support and like it's nice to have a familiar face she showed up for me when I was at status I was like freaking out like the first time I was supposed to bartend and I was like hey can you come in and she came in and she kept me company and it's just you know like it's so nice and reassuring when people show up for you so I wanted to do the same for her and she like literally killed it she looks so good she's literally amazing and it makes me so happy to like see her like grow and thrive and network I just love seeing my friends you know like level up so I got ready because I knew I was gonna go with my friend Jenna to go visit Ty because then I knew I would have I would be ready and then I could go out so I was like let me not waste my makeup same thing I did today and I was like let me go ahead and record a podcast and then I'll go out I went out and no one believed me, but I'm really trying my best not to drink as well, just because that really does hinder my time, basically. I wake up feeling like shit. I wake up having anxiety. I eat like shit. I'm tired. I don't go to the gym. I don't eat healthy. So it just makes me not a good version of myself. So I was like, you know what? This year I'm really trying to keep it at a minimum and telling myself if I have to go somewhere and I have to be drunk in order to enjoy it, then it's probably a place I don't need to be. So I'm just really trying to stick to that, which, you know, it's kind of hard, especially working in the industry, but I'm doing my best. And if I do drink, I'm telling myself it's going to be two drinks three drinks max uh, because I just really don't want to waste my time hating my whole day wasting my day away I just I I know that like I'm in a space where I feel like I'm in my purpose right now like I'm like very productive and like everything is just kind of aligning and I'm happy and I'm seeing like (laughs) I'm seeing everything kind of just align and seeing angel numbers everywhere I am very spiritual so I literally listen to tarot readings every week on my signs I'm mostly listen to Capricorn because that's my sun sign then Aquarius because I'm an Aquarius stellium if you don't listen to Flavor Vivid on YouTube you need to because she is literally dead ass on point every single time and like I like to listen to her while I'm cleaning and then I just write down like the different messages that I like receive throughout the day or from her readings and like a lot of these things are so accurate and then like just continue to show up throughout my week for example she was like mentioning butterflies and like the butterfly effect and so I like read in I was like reading into like what the butterfly effect is I wrote it down because I was like what is the butterfly effect why does she keep mentioning butterflies mind you I love butterflies I have butterflies tattooed on my thigh and it says divinely protected which has also been another one of the messages that I have been receiving like all week just that I'm divinely guided and protected you know that message on my thigh plus the butterflies 
but the butterfly effect rests on the notion that the world is deeply interconnected such that one small occurrence can influence a much larger complex system. It comes from the allegory for chaos theory and evokes the idea that a small butterfly flapping its wings could hypothetically cause a typhoon. Basically that like every action has a reaction basically kind of like momentum, you know, like that's been my life right now As soon as I take one step forward the universe opens the door to where I need to be next Everything has been showing how interconnected it is this week, which is, has been really interesting to see for example like with Jing Where I'm gonna be working. I had actually never heard of them. I guess they've been around for many many years but like I have I grew up poor, okay? We did not have fancy dinners like that. We, I, Me getting to go to these fancy restaurants and more upscale restaurants has been as of like these last couple years. I, I didn't grow up with those privileges, so it's been interesting to step into, into those spaces. But basically the reason I found out about Jing is because uh, the general manager back at the time, back this back in March reached out to me on TikTok and was like, hey, we want to host you. We're like this Asian fusion restaurant and we want to host you if you just like in return make a TikTok about us. I had seen the message and I, I just thought it was kind of like scam. I didn't, I was like, nah, like I'm good. And then I showed it to my best friend. I was like, look, like she sent me this, but I don't know if it's real. And she was like, dude, like just do it. And I was like, I don't know, like it's weird. So I kind of was putting it off, but then my best friend Maddie got into grad school. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just, she was like, you can invite some friends. So I was like, okay, so I will take her up on the dinner and we can use this as a time for me, Maddie, and Dre to celebrate Maddie getting into grad school. So that's what we did. And basically, like, they hosted us at Jing, which, mind you, is, like, so fucking nice. You walk, I, I walked in, and I was like, damn. And, like, they had this, like, table reserved for us. They had champagne waiting for us. And, like, nosotras, we were, like, humbly just trying to order, like, one cocktail each. Like, you know, no lo mas caro. Like, una cosa cada una. You know, humbly, you know, like, <laughs> not trying to do too much. And they were like bringing out more stuff. And they're like, no, you got to try this. You got to try that. And so like I got to try a lot of the plates and like the food was so, so, so good. The crazy thing is that when I walk in there, I ran into one of my old co-workers from Twins. And then the manager that had hired me at Twin Peaks was now working at Jing as a manager. So I ran into both of them and like have kind of kept in touch with them. But right before I left to Puerto Rico, when they were fucking with my hours, I remembered I was like, oh, hey, like I know them. Jing could probably be a really good opportunity for me to grow. It's more fine dining. It's more money. It's like a happy medium between Twin Peaks and like bottle service. I can learn a lot within fine dining. So I reached out to the manager, the one that had hired me at Twin Peaks, and she told me to reach out to the GM and the gm like i literally dm'd her on tiktok where she had dm me and i was like hey i'm trying to get iron how do i go about doing that and she was like here's my number text me and we can set something up and so we ended up setting up like a interview kind of for me when i got back from puerto rico they call it a stage so you basically go shadow them for like an hour or two and like they kind of see you like your vibe and stuff and see if you would make a good fit and so i went um it was actually like right before my birthday celebration so like there was on that saturday night i wore like a black cocktail dress and like black boots and it's out to celebrate my birthday and it's because it was the outfit that i had worn to the interview and so i just like kept it on but i ended up like just like you know kind of shadowing the girl they were literally so friendly so welcoming so nice the atmosphere is so different all the girls there are nice everyone's so welcoming which is like something i <laughs> was not used to at twin peaks you know i kind of forgot what it's like to walk into somewhere where people actually want to see you do well and that don't see you as competition it was just a completely different vibe the manager or the gm that had hosted us was there and she was super welcoming super nice um Ashley the one that had hired me at Twin Peaks was there and she was like I, I saw all the girls that I knew and like they put in such a good word for me and so they basically like put in a good word for me and helped me get hired and like thankfully they offered me the job on the spot and I took it like on the spot they were like you know we can give you some time to think about it and I was like no no like count me in like 110 percent 
and honest this training has been humbling me a little bit because like i know i'm a good server and i'm a good worker but like i said i've never worked in upscale dining the table mannerisms are so different the etiquette is so different the people that go in there are so different the food is so different like a lot of that shit i've never tried nor have i pronounced or had the means to pay for you know so i'm like huh? the family went in yesterday to celebrate one of the girls birthdays and they racked up a thousand dollar tab that was their casual dinner a thousand dollar dinner with their family for a birthday and i'm like like what like this is just a casual thursday for you <laughs> like what the hell so yeah definitely some like what is that called like intruder syndrome i'm pretty sure that's not what it is but just feeling like i just don't belong but i'm like no like of course I belong otherwise I wouldn't be here and like it was so nice because the owner has been in contact with me and he's been like the manager basically and today I like was running late or yesterday oh my god I'm like getting my days confused I'm literally all over the place but yesterday I did a training double so I trained in the morning and then I trained at night so I was there for like 12 hours basically and I got like a two-hour break and I had forgotten my like little training book because I was up the night before studying because I just like want to do well and I want to like know my shit so I was up studying and I was just so tired in the morning because I me olvidó so like I literally ran home during my break ni comí ni nada and I live like 30 minutes away with traffic it can be up to an hour so getting back like traffic was so heavy and I was running like five minutes late and I was freaking out and I was like I'm so sorry I texted him like I'm so sorry I apologize I'll do a better job at timing my my commute now but I really wanted to get my handbook so that I know what I'm wanting like needing to train on and stuff so he was and he's like it's fine like don't worry take your time he's like you're doing great and I was like what like someone's telling me I'm doing great like he sees my effort that's just crazy like I just have feel like I haven't had that in a long time and I'm like damn like feels good to like be appreciated every one of the servers there is like so welcoming so nice so willing to help everyone's just such a team it's so different I'm like what like what everyone just works as hard and like I don't know it's just such a different atmosphere and so I'm like really excited but it's just been really challenging like I said I, I stayed up till or I worked 12 hours yesterday I came home and then I stayed up till about two in the morning studying trying to memorize stuff and learn about wines and just trying to educate myself as much as I could but then I got to a point where I was just so tired like ya no me entraba nada like I just couldn't study anymore I went on live on TikTok so I had someone to talk to so that I would, wouldn't fall asleep and I made myself coffee it was like freaking 10 30 11 at night and I was making myself coffee so I could stay up and I'm just like <sighs> trying to use the energy that I have right now in order to like propel me forward and like use it as motivation and try to be the healthiest version of myself but like I'm just tired <laughs> I have Monday off and I'm just looking forward to Monday but even on Monday I have a list of things that I want to get done and I'm just trying to stay as busy and as consistent as possible but I'm like I'm literally staring at a pile of laundry that I need to fold and put away and I'm like when does it stop <laughs> it's so exhausting but it's all good things and like I said it just feels like everything's just kind of aligned right now and I'm trying to be very protective of my energy and have better judgment of who deserves my energy and I'm trying to do better at learning how to say no without feeling guilty and I'm really trying my best to show up for the people that show up for me and it's it's exhausting sometimes and it's hard because for example I feel so bad I'm supposed to be at my friend Melly's birthday dinner but since I started this new job I couldn't take time off because I needed to get my training done and I just feel so bad like she just texted me like are you gonna be able to make it and I haven't even had the time to text her to tell her that I I can't and I just feel so guilty because I'm like she always shows up for me so it really is a lot so I don't know I think maybe this I just needed a quick little event sesh but I literally have to get to work and I am doing my best to also just learn this menu and get everything down so that I know my shit and I can show up as like the best version of myself and so they know that I'm like motivated and dedicated and that I'm like wanting to really be about my money and be the best employee that I can be and the I really do want to just like grow and push myself in every aspect so 
you know, I'm, I'm doing it and I'm doing it scared, but I'm showing up and I'm trying to tell myself, like, you know, give myself grace. The best you can do is the best you can do. And that's that's it. You know, that's all I have. And as long as I'm showing up as authentically as I can and doing my best, that's really all I can do. And so, yeah, again, everything just feels like it's just working in my favor. I don't know. I just feel like I'm in a really good mental space right now so I want to keep it going but it's hard to show up everywhere all the time all at once without being exhausted and making time for literally everything but I need to remind myself that people that love me and care about me understand that if I'm not able to check in as much or reply as quick or whatever like they understand that it's like nothing personal you know it is what it is but like I said I, I am really also trying to be more mindful of who shows up for me and who makes time for me especially like now that I'm trying to be on my shit like I don't have as much time but like you know who checks in who has my best interests who isn't just inviting me out just so I can get fucked up you know like who can respect my boundaries and who can show up for me and make takes that little extra step to to be there for me because that's I feel like that's what I try to do the, for the people in my life. So I'm just trying to notice who reciprocates the same energy and be more mindful of who doesn't and who's just here to like feed off my energy. So yeah, I'm trying to have more discernment in that aspect because that's literally what all of the tarot readers have been telling me. Every message that I see has been basically about showing up, being consistent, but also discerning of what's worth your energy, what's not, who shows up for you, who doesn't, what makes you feel full and what leaves your cup empty and just yeah it's been a lot i'm just like reading over all of the different notes that i have feels good to make people eat their own words all lights attract moths your light brings out their darkness cut people off who are energetically draining you if this behavior doesn't change then i'm done cord cutting everybody walks away a loser when you play the blame game and the shame game you have a voice people listen to your boundaries aren't a burden ain't being cocky we just vindicated that's been one of the songs of the week also nda by meg the stallion divine justice gentle moderation vindicated has been the word of the week butterfly effect divinely protected they're not even aware of their jealousy of you ask what this is teaching you i'ma always be blessed because i do right by people in real life not just for show yeah that's these are my notes for the week pretty pretty good pretty good notes this week but yeah I hope you guys have a productive week. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble. I don't know. People told me to just show up and record and let it things be. So that's what I did today. I didn't have a plan. I didn't have an outline. I don't even know what this is going to be titled, but...